Hi everyone, it's Lori LeBay, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the times we're going through. I know it's really a struggle and people are are feeling really panicked right now. And you know, I'm sitting home in self-isolation because I traveled last week before everything started shutting down. But then as I was as I was sitting down one day, um, just looking down at my feet, this smile came to my face. And I want to explain to you why. Because I think it's really important to be able to find those, those little things that can put a smile on our face. Now, I know you might be looking at my feet. And you're thinking, and you might even say it out loud, she doesn't have pretty feet. Why would she take a picture of them and share them with us? Gross. Or maybe you're thinking, why would she pick different colors for each foot? Boy, that's pretty strange. And I know there's definitely some of you out there saying, I want to know where she goes for a pedicure because I don't want to ever go there. But the truth is, I love my polished toes. They make me realize how lucky I am. And you may be asking why. And it's because my granddaughters love giving me the spa treatment, as they call it. They pull the towels out and they lay them neatly on the wood floors for their little pedicure soaking machine that's fully loaded with colored lights and waterfalls. It's my job to get, get it out of the closet and then fill it with hot water when they decide the time is right. And then the girls are off and running with a job at hand to do. They watch the time carefully as to how long should my feet soak. Sometimes they disagree, but they always work through it together. While I'm soaking, they're off running to their individual stashes of various lotions and potions, and they bring them all out. This is a really detailed process for them. They smell and sniff each one and decide which combination should they use on me. Then the decision of who is in charge of which foot. Once they agree, they lovingly start drying my feet, often pausing to tickle them. Next on their routine is to massage my feet and legs with their lotions and potions. And they're so proud of themselves. And then they wipe the excess lotion from my feet and legs. Then comes the, the rubbing alcohol on the little cotton balls so they wipe off my toenails so they make sure that the fabulous polishes that they've picked out are going to stick. And then each granddaughter, one five and the other nine, beam as they rubbage through this big plastic bin full of all their gorgeous colors of polishes to pick from. After they labor and they laugh over their decisions, they crack those bottles open and they each grab a leg and they polish away. Sometimes they sing, other times they're touting about the colors that they've chose and the competition heats up. I can see both of them with their thoughts spinning in their mind. Who will be the fastest? Who will paint the prettiest? And always when we finish, they want me to pick which one I like the most. And I always compliment both and say, I can't choose and it's a tie and that they're both beautiful artists and I can't wait to show off my toes. You see, that's why my toenails make me feel peaceful and happy and loved and blessed and content. What are the little things in your life that bring a smile to your face and fill your heart? that maybe you haven't even really truly acknowledged or shared with anybody. Especially in the times we're living in today, we have to find those things and we need to share them with others. As Maya Angelou said, I've learned that people will forget what you've said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I'd love to hear from you. What are your little joys? Stay safe and healthy, and we'll talk soon.